Hey, how's it going everyone, Mick here. So, today's video was supposed to be a review of a budget tablet that I've been sent, but that's gonna have to wait until the next video just because I'm really excited about um, a, a, a product that was recently released, um, a smartphone that, obviously those of you that know my previous video was about the Note 20 Ultra and why I returned it. Um, and I, I took the plunge. Um, so I've always been a fan of Xiaomi. I, my first Xiaomi phone was a Mi Note 2 um, a few years ago now. I had the Mi Note 2, uh, really enjoyed it. Back then there was there was really no good cameras on it and there was not really any, any, any massively flagship features. It was mainly just the chip. Um, I had a Mi A1 um, for the stock Android experience. That was a really cool phone. And I've also had the Mi 8, which I really enjoyed as well. However, they've always been um, a China-only company. And they recently, obviously they do global uh, releases of their phones, but you still have to import them. In the UK, they uh, recently, in the, in the last couple of years, launched in the UK officially. Um, we don't get every phone the same, but... The new Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro um, was launched in the UK, and not only was it launched in the UK, it was um, they also partnered up with Vodafone. Just so happens, my upgrade was with Vodafone, and I was still due an upgrade because I uh, returned the Note 20 Ultra. Um, this is substantially cheaper. This is five, around 599. Um, this is the 256 gig version, it's the only version you can get on Vodafone. Um, and I pre-ordered it because not only did Vodafone give me 25% off the contract um, due to wanting me to upgrade, 25% off the contract plus Xiaomi and Vodafone have done a deal where if you buy the phone you get a £150 Amazon voucher as well. So the, 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 the deal here is absolutely amazing I mean there's it's it, it's insane that you're getting a hundred and fifty pounds back through Amazon vouchers obviously Christmas is coming up um, so that could really help with getting gifts etc and I thought I would um, bring this to your tent to your attention because I've had the phone um, since launch day last Friday um, and I can all I've already done um, quite a bit of testing of this device. This recording is filmed on the Note, on the on the Mi 10T Pro um, in 8K, so I can crop in to the right size at the end of this video and still have tons of details. 108 megapixel camera uh, for the main lens. It's also got an ultra wide and a macro lens. Um, and I, I can tell you right now, the, the camera performance of this smartphone is absolutely amazing um obviously i'm recording in 4k right now at uh, 4k in 8k uh 8k 24 frames and it's absolutely insane because over here i've got the dslr that can only shoot in 1080p and um, this was one of the main reasons why i wanted to get a high performing camera for my next for my next uh, smartphone um and there was a couple people that were really um trying to downplay the points I made about the Note 20 Ultra because of that Exynos variant of the chip. I can already say this phone does not overheat when filming 8K. I've been filming for, 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 for quite a while since I've received the device and I've never had a, a temperature notification. It's never overheated. It runs a 144 hertz display so the display is faster. It's not as crisp a display because it's not uh, AMOLED, it's uh, LC IPS L LCD, but it's such a good display. It gets nice and bright. You can forgive it for not being uh, an AMOLED. The only, the only thing really that makes a difference is the viewing angles. And I mean, when you're using your phone, you've got it in front of you. You don't need to have it over. You're not using it like that. So this is less than half the price. It's roughly, it's, it, it, well, it's roughly half the price. I, I'd say just over half the price. Um, 
absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Um, it's really strange to think that this, for me, it's, it's faster than the Exynos version of the Note 20 Ultra because it's got a Snapdragon 865 in it. It's got the same amount of storage, um, less less RAM, but it's still got eight gigs of RAM. It's still a good, good, sufficient amount of RAM. This phone flies through absolutely everything. And the main thing is that I'm recording in 8K here. 8K. That is reserved for very high-end flagship, flagship smartphones. The camera performance on this is better than the uh, than the uh, iPhone 11. Um, it might not be as good as the 12 Pro, but you get all the Pro camera uh, features, same as on the uh, Note 20 Ultra. By going into that Pro mode, you can change the white balance, you can change the uh, the autofocus. I've got it set to autofocus because it actually it's actually really good. You zoom in, and it's all it's all focused up. The moment I go back. It's straight focused on my face again. Focused, focused. I can do that all day. You can literally see it happen in real time. It's very quick to focus. You can change the shutter speed, the ISO, with good lighting. This, and, and bearing in mind, my lightning, my lightning, my lighting still isn't amazing. Um, with the 8K video recording, you can only record for six minutes. But again, with, um, a program called uh, Scrappy or SCRCPY. I can do the same thing. I can control the phone on my Windows PC without having to see the display, so I can just have it facing me. Um, it's a third party um, application you have to use, it's not the Microsoft uh, companion, uh, phone companion app, but it works just the same. I can still control my phone. I can still monitor everything on OBS whilst not actually physically seeing the display. So I don't have to worry about it stopping recording because I can literally just tap on the mouse. I've got it right over the uh, the record button in case I run out of time. I just wanted to quickly get this video out. Um, this is a a really impressive impressive phone so far uh, this isn't this isn't my review etc i still want to go through the whole review process and bring out another more in-depth video but all the reviews that are out are really praising this phone for its price vodafone have an insane deal on it at the moment and i thought i'd just share that with you because i don't know how long this amazon voucher deal is going to last um this is for, for me, because I've got 25% off of the contract, I'm getting this for around £15 a month less than the Note 20 Ultra, and it's only costing me £34 a month for a flagship smartphone. This is a flagship. Absolutely, it's a flagship. It's a 144Hz display. It is buttery smooth. It will tank along ev every application you throw at it. I've been so impressed with this phone so far in less, in less than a week. I've instantly become more impressed with this phone than I have the Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra is a beautiful phone. It's a beautiful phone with a beautiful display, but I never had it on the Quad HD anyway because I wanted the 120 hertz. And this has 144 hertz at full HD plus resolution as well. So that's just my two cents on this. Um, I hope you like this video, guys. Go check out the... Uh, the deal I'll, I'll leave it in the link in the video description um, and and yeah apart from that um, I'll catch you guys out in the next video